Can someone tell me what has happened to Shojahan Ergashev? Boxing. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope everyone is doing well today. Shout out to all the subscribers. Big up to anybody new. Serious question. Where is this guy? <laughs> and I do mean that. If you know anything about Ergashev or what he's been up to, and you're like a nerd, hardcore boxing fan, respect to you. If you could hit the comments and let me know, because I made a video a couple of weeks ago about how the IBF ordered Subriel Matias versus Ergashev. Um, a lot of responses in there. We were talking about it. The next thing you know, he's fighting Lipinetsk. Matias is fighting Lipinetsk. And I'm thinking to myself, right, what, I don't know why that happened. Apparently, Ergashev was injured. I didn't see or find any articles about that. He hasn't fought at all in 2023. He he had a couple of fights in 2022, but he's 31 years old. You know, I've I've I haven't been banging on about him as much on the channel, but I've been following him a while, and I really like his style, and I would love to see him mix it up at 140 in some just not even big fights, just good fights. You know, his bigger or biggest fight was against Michaela Fox in 2019. Well, that was his closest fight. Uh, he's the brother of Atlanta Fox, or Atlantis Fox, <laughs> who fought Demetrius Andre. But outside of that, I mean, his career, he's with, as far as I know, he's with Salita Promotions. I'm assuming he still is. He lives in Detroit. Um, I know he's been back and forth from Uzbekistan um, in the past couple of years, too, which is why it's hard to keep track of him, because he's had a couple of fights there, then a couple of fights in America. His last fight was in Detroit. So he's with Sugar Hill, and I know Sugar Hill had his hands full a little bit, okay? Ben Whitaker, Lawrence Okoli, um, obviously Tyson Fury. Um, so Ergashev, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this guy. I would love to know if you could, if you could generally let me know or give me some kind of news outlet where I can follow these fighters from... Uzbekistan and stuff like that, I'm sure there are. I'm sure I could do a bit more research myself, but just a question because it would be, you know, I mean, he doesn't have long, long left, you know? He's had 250 amateur fights, so he's 31. I don't think he's in, been in too many, he hasn't from what I've seen at all in, term, in terms of hard fights at all. But you never know in the amateurs, training camp, wear and tear, you know, realistically, you know, he's got a very small window left you don't you don't want to leave it too late he's got to get a title shot he's got to win that and then he's got to you know advance from there but where on earth is this guy <laughs> i'd love to know i really would because like i said the 140 pound division is a great division i'd love to see him in there with jack Cattrall. i'd love to see him in there with uh, elvis rodriguez i think that's a really good fight i know rodriguez just fought postal but Surely Ergashev would have been a better fight. But both of them, you know, I guess Postol was the name for uh, Rodriguez. I use air quotations because, you know, the, it's good to get a name on there sometimes, I suppose. But I think it would be better to fight another up-and-coming contender, you know, because they're both made for each other, really. Both Southpaws, actually. Both got a bit of pop. That'd be a good matchup. Why isn't that fight getting made? You know, I'm sure there's reasons behind the scenes that I have no idea about, but it gets to the point where you just, you do. I also saw a video, and I, th th this came up uh, about a year ago, where a lot of people, well, a couple of people were making videos about how he'd retired from the sport. Then it got debunked, and then he was back, then the IBF did, the, 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 did that, you know, um, ordering, and then that fell through. I'm like, this guy needs a fight. And if anybody out there can tell me what he's up to, please hit the comment section. But just a quick one from me. Um, on, on that, if you are from Uzbekistan and you've tuned into this, shout out to you. I've got a documentary coming up, actually, I'm working on right now about Uzbek fighters. It's called The Rise of Uzbek, Rise of the Uzbeks. And it's just, you know, just looking into the more recent flourishing fighters from that part of the world and I was going to include Shojahan Sho Ergashev and I still will because he's a damn good fighter but it's just going to delve into the style of the fighting 
where the not sudden but where the rise came from. I know they're 2016. They they started winning gold medals and they, they've been they've been flourishing at the Olympics and obviously in the pros too. So it's an exciting time. So look out for that. And I'm not, this can be a big project, but that should be out in the. I don't want to give a time on it within the month. Let's just say. But that is it from me. And I hope everyone is well and have a great week. And like I said, let me know if you know anything about this story. Peace.